So this is our laundry room wall. Um, it's a mess. We've got shoes, and this is where we come in all the time when we come into the house, and it's time to do something about it. And we're going to build some cubbies. Two inches. that all these lines line up. So I just always measured from one side to the other. And then when I got to the next piece, I kind of just lined it up and I just made a little mark. And then I cut off the mark and then I cut the next piece. When you're done cutting all of them, make sure you just label them all on the back uh, where each one is going so you don't get confused and put them in the wrong spot. That would suck after, you know, taking all the time to cutting them. That's something I would do, wouldn't it? <laughs> I have these dowel holes that I'm gonna be drilling. Uh oh, I made a dirt mark there, that's not good. Now it's very important that we get the dowel holes exactly where they are because that's going to keep the pieces from, if they get kicked or something, from going left and right. So right at the center there we're going to use a punch and right when you just poke it in there and just give it a good... Now that we drill these dowel holes, hopefully the drill won't wander, it'll drill it right in that spot there.
scared I'm gonna break it if I go too much. I'm thinking the consistency of peanut butter. Oh wow, yeah. Just push it in there. This stuff works really good. It's like going right in the holes. There. Here. Here's the first piece. I like it.
understand what that smells like? That's the smell of brain damage. Make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area. Wow, so this is the day after, and I don't know if you can tell by this video, but this looks awesome. I'm gonna get the pry bar, the hammer, and we're gonna whack it a couple times. Okay, and some earplugs. So now I can go over here and mark my trim. A dab of wood glue on there and slide it under there.
pretzel. See how easy that was? I swear it didn't take me all day to get all these trim pieces in there. Before I nail all my trim pieces into place, go ahead and check how sturdy this feels. I think what I'm going to do is, I do have a dowel in here if you remember, but I'm now I'm kind of second guessing if that dowel is enough because on this center one, the dowel kind of got crushed and it's just a wood dowel, not a metal dowel. I was looking for metal dowels and I wanted to save a buck, a couple bucks, so I went with the wooden dowel and that probably ended up being a mistake. But I think what I'm gonna end up doing is using my nail gun and I'm gonna shoot some toenails into the bottom here, probably about three here, three on each side on this one. And then on these others, I'm just gonna do two on each side. So that'll be four nails. Oh, that didn't turn out good. So I have to pre drill a hole. What's going on? This is Yeah Pete. It is December 2020 and these cubbies were completed two years ago. I finally got around to making the video. It's I've been super busy and as you can see uh, I'm putting them to good use and they have survived the abuse. 
I should make a song about that. If this video helps you, please help me by liking and subscribing. And if you have any more questions, please leave a comment below if you want to see more detail on how I put these together. Uh, leave a comment below and give me the thumbs up. That would I would really appreciate it. Thank you.